lots of fun ways to open up the hips in single pigeon. So for your more junior students or those with tighter hips, the first variation of single pigeon will have the front ankle close to the hip. So there's a big diagonal there. So go ahead and take this ankle closer to this hip here, and then go ahead and sit yourself down. Mm -hmm. And then often what'll happen, and then just lower all the way down, there'll be a lean onto one hip, okay? We're gonna work toward developing more mobility, so we're gonna keep that hip lifted, and then we're gonna draw the outer knee of the front leg toward the outer hip, toward the back ankle. And what we want is the shoulder, the hip, the knee, and the ankle of that back leg to be in line. From here, you can ask your students to forward fold. All right, if that's easier for your students, lift back up. The second variation of single pigeon is with the ankle in line with the knee. So that front ankle comes forward some. The foot is flexed to create more space in the knee and protect it. And then again, you can do the forward forward, forward fold thing here. Yeah, and what she's done, responsible yogi, is she's got that front knee drawing to the outer hip, to the back ankle. The third variation for your crazy flexible folks, you can have the foot underneath the chest. Mm-hmm. The foot is flexed, and then we forward fold here. If you have a student that is uncomfortable with any of these without the support for their back leg, you can always slide a block underneath there. All right, to create a little bit more mobility, we're gonna do some dynamic stretching or movement stretching. I'm gonna have Amber come to the second variation of single pigeon, because that was the most appropriate for this exercise. All right, and then from here, we're gonna like give it some bounces. So like you can put on some gangster rap in class and then like talk about, you know, bouncing like those cars, you know, bounce, bounce. Or you can like start to be like the go-go dancers and then like, just like, come on, like really work it. Faster, faster, oh yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Don't say that to your students. Okay, and then pause. We're gonna swivel. So the feeling is of the outer knee pulling toward the outer hip and back. So we're doing that little rotation here. So we're creating more stretch. But before you do the bouncing thing or the swiveling thing, make sure you've given students an adequate amount of time to hold in stillness and open up their hips slowly because this sort of a thing can cause um, a tear in the hamstring. All right, and then to create even more mobility, we're gonna practice an exercise. It's like a, I call it the windshield wiper. I learned it from uh, Ido Portal. She's gonna place her foot just behind her wrists in between her hands. We're gonna to try to keep the back knee lifted and then she'll drop the knee toward the side, keeping the foot flexed and then exhale, pull it in. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And you can do this between 10 and 20 times and repetition of the exercise will also, within the same class repetition, help create more mobility for your students. Awesome, Amber. And then we can come to the lower position. So lower the knee. Mm -hmm. uh, this knee here. Nope, take it forward. So just take it to the side, yep, good. And then we'll drop the chest lower, lower. Good, she can take her elbows down. Mm -hmm. And then try to lift this knee up. So nope, not the foot, tuck the toes, lift the knee. So now we're stretching that hip flexor here as we continue. Outer knee pulling to the outer hip to the back ankle. Big stretch. Enjoy.